This is the fifth video in the Letting Agency database and in this one we're going to look at creating a report. Let's just recap on what we've got to do. We've to create a report that shows rentals for each property. For each property calculate the number of rentals, the highest monthly rent and the lowest monthly rent. Also calculate the total number of rentals overall, the highest monthly rent overall and the lowest monthly rent overall. We need to display a suitable report title, the property house numbers, the property postcodes, the property types, the number of rentals for each property, the highest monthly rent charged for each property, the lowest monthly rent charged for each property, total number of rentals and the highest monthly rent overall and the lowest monthly rent overall and the report must fit on one page. I'm in the Access database now. I've clicked on Create and Query Design and the first thing is to get the tables into the design for the fields that we want. So we want the property house numbers, that's in TBL property. We also need the property postcodes, that's in TBL property. And we need the property types, that's TBL property type. And we need the number of rentals for each property. So that will be in TBL rental. And from that, we can work out the highest rent charge, the lowest, and then the total number of rentals, the highest overall and the lowest overall. Let's just get the fields into the report now. First of all, we need the property house number. Then we need the property postcode. Then we need the property type. And then we need the rental and we need it in twice because we're going to find the maximum rental and the minimum rental. So that's once and twice. We also need the rental ID because we're going to do a count of the number of rentals each property's had. We need to add the totals rule to the query design. So just click on the total button and we've got the totals in. The first thing is to do a count of the rental IDs. And I'm going to give that a name, total rentals. We also need to find the highest monthly rental. So on this first one here, I'm going to find the max. And I'll name that highest rental. And we also need to find the minimum. So this will be min. And this one I'll call the lowest rental. So here we've got the results of the query. They're grouped on house number. And if we just look at 5A, which had two rentals, it's come up with a total of two rentals. We've got the postcode, the property type, the highest rental and the lowest. Make sure you save your query and then we'll use that in the report. Now I've gone into create and report wizard and I've selected the query that I created for the report and I want all these fields in the report. We don't want any particular grouping on this, no sorting, and we can leave those defaults. Always use RPT as a prefix and give your report a name. OK, so we've got a very basic report here in terms of how it looks. And we need to put the totals of the rentals on the bottom and find the highest overall and the lowest overall. I'll just do some formatting first of all. So change the title. Change the headings. These are just field names. They need to have some spaces in between the words to make them more user friendly. And I'm going to take off the banded rows in the details section. Look at what we've got so far. I just need to move over postcode, property type, total rentals. So it's just separated from this house number a little bit. I'll change the colour as well of the fonts into the, my house style. I put some lines on as well to divide the report up. And then I've just got to put the totals on the bottom. Let's just do that formatting first. I'm in layout view now and I'm going to move these total rentals over a touch. I'm going to move the property type over a touch and the postcode. Resized some of the controls 
uh, because some of the detail had disappeared. So we've just resized them. It was just the case of some of them were overlapping on the others and that's why they disappeared. Let's just put the totals on the bottom now. I've expanded the report footer. I can now put these totals on the bottom. We'll just pop on the totals first of all. So onto the controls, pick up a text box, change the label, total number of rentals, and in the control, we're going to use equal sum total rentals, close bracket. And then we need the highest and the lowest. So again, onto the control, pick up a text box, draw it on. We might need to move some of these around just to give us a bit more space. So that's the overall highest. And again, into the box. This one's going to be equal max, highest rental. So it'll find us the highest out of all the highest rentals. And then again, control, text box, draw it on. Overall lowest. And then in the box, we're going to do equals min lowest rental. And that will find the lowest of all those lowest rentals for the whole report. Just going to go into layout view, see if we can improve the layout of these totals at the bottom. I've completed my report now. Just recap on what I've done. I provided a suitable heading. I've made that bold. I've got some suitable column headings, again using the same colour and bold. I put some lines on the report to break it up. And then at the bottom here, we've got the total number of rentals, seven. The highest overall, 850. And the overall lowest, which is 294.67. And I have formatted all the fonts to be blue. Limit your choice of colours. Don't have anything over colourful. It doesn't look very professional. Less is more when it comes to formatting in the reports. And remember, when you come to do the forms in part B, you need to use the same house style. Make sure you save your report when you've finished. And the next video will be looking at testing.